go, Christian Stormer, Storm, Storm, Stormer. What is up? I wanted to come and talk to you guys a little bit on something a little bit of a game changer. I know I've been talking a lot about like the Nephilim and times and things and some false teachers and preachers and things like that. And uh, it just dawned on me and with prayer and I realized that I wanted to talk about something that um, I had gone through, which was coming out of a Word of Faith church. And being the pastor's organist, pianist, etc., playing behind him, yes, I did. I saw and heard a great deal of things, such as spiritual birthing. Some people don't know what that is. I've been doing a little bit of polls here and there on uh, Twitter. Um, there's been false prophecies to the max. Um, a lot of uh, prophecies if you don't have anything uh, positive of prophecies to say don't say them at all um, negative ones keep to yourself things like that um, and right now I wanted to talk about the name it and claim it there's one thing that is one of the reasons why I left the Word of Faith Church was a great deal of the name and claim it I suffer from a great deal of sicknesses that are permanent sicknesses and I was about 30 years old uh, when I left the Word of Faith chart and um, at the time my rheumatoid arthritis was uh, really really severe and flared up really really bad and um, most of the time, if anything, I was always told to um, speak into the atmosphere that I was healed. And it was ridiculous because I was like, but I'm sick. If somebody has a cold, why are you going to tell them, say, I don't have a cold? You go to the hospital and somebody tells you, well, um, you have a UTI, it's pretty, pretty bad. I have to give you a shot. I'm gonna give you some antibiotics or it's gonna go into your kidneys. And you're gonna go, well, I'm speaking into the atmosphere. I don't have it. Um, and I'm gonna speak into the atmosphere that I don't have it. I'm naming and claiming that. Um, that makes absolutely no sense. And um, most Word of Faith preachers are sticking to Romans 4.17, but they take it out of context. So that was one of the things that troubled me. And if you guys know what rheumatoid arthritis is, it's not normal arthritis. A lot of people go, well, it's just regular arthritis, like your hip hurts, your knee hurts. Um, you know, you can tell when rain is coming. Da -da no. It's an autoimmune disease. Your whole body is freaking hurting. I'm sorry for saying freaking, um, but your whole body is fighting against your immune system. So I was in incredible pain all the time, and I was constantly being prayed over and told, um, you know, you're healed, and this is that, and the pastor's wife, you know, um, you know, she is healed, she's healed, blah, 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 it was annoying, so, and you can imagine, after so many times of prayer, and you go to the Lord, and you're not healed, you get to the point where you get tired of people praying over you because you're like, I'm accepting I'm sick, but all these people are naming and claiming it, and I've got a lot of other sicknesses, and they're permanent. So, back her down, Sally. It's a done deal. I'm just praying for God to give me the strength. And his mercies are new every morning, according to Lamentations. Praise God. So I'm serving the Lord. How about you guys pray for some uh, strength and, uh, 
encourage me in the word and um, anything else uh, you can kind of um, how about you guys' negative stuff keep to yourself how about that I've been told since I was first diagnosed and even before that before anybody knew that I suffered from that disease um, it's no wonder with faith like that that you're not healed um, I was told basically that I had to go to the altar all the time um, I was told to speak in tongues and I would be healed use my tongues I was told to go walk go walking and I'd be healed Mm -hmm. and um, even though I walk now for exercise it's good for me and I'm supposed to walk because of you know I've got several diseases um, that's not why I walk um, but you know a false prophet told me to walk and I'd be healed da -da -da. yay I never did it because that's ridiculous um, so yeah um, I was told a lot of other things and I realized that the Word of Faith movement actually bled into another church way back when I was in my 20s when I was first first really really sick too um, and they didn't know really what was wrong with me except fibromyalgia and I hadn't been diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis at the time and it was at when I was at uh, an Assemblies of God charge and everybody's watching Benny Hinn, Joyce Meyer, Jesse DePlantis and TBN is going off the rails. Everybody is just watching the Crouch family and they're all false prophets, false teachers. Everybody that is on there are false teachers, false prophets. Um, Kim Clements, you guys are watching any of these guys and their stuff present and past. You guys better run from these guys. I'm going to read you this passage from the Word of God so that you know about this name and acclaim it really quick. Um, it's Romans 4.17. Okay. It says, as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed, even God who quickened the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were okay and the word of faith preachers and teachers and prophets self-proclaimed prophets that are the false prophets will say you can call those things as though they were sadly excuse me i was getting a little bit of hickey hiccups in there um they'll tell you we can do that and i was doing that and practicing that and it's false teaching guys it says even god who quickened the dead and call it those things which be not as though they were guys god is the only one that can call those things as though they were he is the omniscient all powerful he is the only one guys who can do these things we are not little gods we have the holy spirit living inside of us but that does not mean that we're able to do these all powerful omniscient super power things like they've told us and have deceived us and unless you've got these little itching ears trying to raise these teachers up oh, get out of there i'm encouraging you to get out of those churches a word of faith this is your warning call get out and start reading your bible as if your life depends on it because it does get into god's presence run from those churches you don't owe them a thing get out and one other thing that i forgot to mention about the name it and claim it uh you can also claim wealth and a fancy car and a nice house because the more you give the more you get we're going to talk about giving a seed out of your need more with uh 
another video but the more that you give the more that you get and um, in other words with the naming and acclaiming it you can hold on you can get uh, another vehicle you can get uh, a fancy vehicle you can get uh, by claiming it um, <laughs> it's my niece um, which means that if you have a funky vehicle, you can actually claim it. I actually was uh, driving one of my pastors, um, in a, like an associate pastor's vehicle out of the parking lot, just kind of moving it from one uh, parking space to another. And um, one of the um, brothers in Lord said, oh, it looks nice on you. Maybe you should claim it. And I was like, oh, yeah, maybe I should. Um, so I did. And nothing ever happens because you can't claim, name it, and claim it. So I just thought I would let you know that God does not honor uh, something that is not written in his word and that clearly is extra biblical it is unbiblical it is not in his word so and you can claim all the money in the world uh, you know if God chooses to bless you he's gonna bless you because he's a good father he is not gonna bless you because you're claiming something into the atmosphere so just so y'all know those are things that uh, and a house too, a fancy house you can name it and claim it and see atmosphere all that you want um but the bottom line is is god might choose to just give you a regular house a house that is just going to be for you a size that is just fit for you a size that is just going to fit for your family or whatnot and it's not going to be a mansion most of these people that have mansions are built on the back of pulpit pimping they're in penny pinching they're um, congregants out of and there are millions and millions of gullible and um, people that want their ears tickled so uh, congregants congregants and patrons across America and uh, the globe so uh, you got to think about that so that is part also of the naming and claiming it and so you don't want to be a part of that and if you're a part of that again I encourage you to get out that's it. So I wanted to let you know that was one of the reasons why I left a Word of Faith church. There are many more of these videos to come, but I would love to hear your comments below if you have left a Word of Faith church. Um, but I was in deep because I was in uh, the leadership. Um, I was dragged around. I was volunteer guys promised money promised a lot of um, being on the payroll that God was gonna bless us um, and the only one that was being blessed was the pastors um, the pastor and his wife so y'all I'm just letting you know there's a lot more to come and what they believe and it's a lot of false teaching so I just wanted to encourage you guys um, to get out, let you guys know that this is one of the many reasons why I left. Um, only God could call those things. This is called a name and claim it. It's a prosperity gospel by the ones that are prospering, the pastors. So this is your girl, Christian Storm. I love y'all. God bless. See you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Boom, hit the notification. And I'll see you with the next installment of why I left the Word of Faith Church. Okay? God bless. Boop.